Shalom, shalom, kohala, yim la yahawa, bahasham yahawa shai, bahasham rachak wadash, yahawa is the name of the heavenly father, which means he is, he exists, bahazin hazda, sham is name of his only begotten son, yahawa shai, which means he says he delivers. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone who rule well, shalom, makasala, habakiyar, peace and mercy to the elect, and your fellow servant, the miyadiyah, represent the GMS church in Cleveland back in the spirit. I hope and I pray this is edifying lesson. So it's going to be a quick, quick lesson. Um, basically, just filtering this article here through the scriptures. Um, and this is from the Associated Press. Cleveland is this Browns defensive players robbed of jewelry vehicle by mass men in the downtown stick up. Now, first and foremost, I want to say this the Heavenly Father ain't put us over here to be successful in this society. we serving out of punishment, man. Right? We should be wearing sackcloth like the prophets, like the apostles and the elders. I can push this word in truth. We should be in a state of mourning. Why should we be mourning? Because we are in subjection and servitude to our enemies. That's why we should be mourning. We're on the bottom. That's why we should be mourning. Right? And that's why the scripture talk about put a mark upon them that sigh and cry. That's a, when you crying, that's a, that's a sign of mourning, man. So all the nation of Israel, all you Israelite men, you shall be mourning, sighing, and crying unto the Heavenly Father to deliver you, man. All right? No matter the, the amount of money that you have, no matter the the the, the, the um acclaim that you have, no no matter the the, the, the accolades and credentials that you have in this society, you should be crying unto the Heavenly Father. You know? So um like I said, the Heavenly Father ain't put us in this position to succeed. Now granted, being successful is not a sin. The sin, uh, 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 you know, comes when you're, you know, um, it's a precept that I'm thinking of, Salakia. Um, damn. But yeah, being successful, that that's not wicked, man. Right? Because poverty, riches, all come of the Lord. Hebrews, uh, Salakia, Sirach, uh, I believe that's the 11th chapter and around the 14th verse. The scripture tell you that poverty, all these things come of the Lord, man. You know? So that's not wicked, you know? The wickedness comes in when you're wrapped up in your possessions, like the rich man in the book of uh, 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 the book of Matthews. I believe it's the 19th chapter. Talk about he went away sorrowful because he had many riches. You wrapped up in your possessions, meaning what? You rather you rather have your possessions than like you put to be in the mind frame of our forefather, Apostle Paul. He counted all dumb. He said that shit. You know the fact that he kept the law to the you know. And he was a Pharisee of the Pharisees, so you better believe Paul, he had some type of money and and wealth, okay, during the time of the Roman Empire. You better believe that. He he was he was he he probably went to private school, right? Because he had a tutor, Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, right? So yeah, man, the the Lord ain't put us in this position. He put us in this position to cry unto him. The Lord said in the book of Jeremiah, the fifth chapter. The Lord of uh, uh, Jeremiah 5, and I believe it's the third verse. Though let's say he's stricken you, but you still ain't grieved. So you're supposed to be grieving unto the Heavenly Father, man. Because cause all these tangible possessions that our people possess is going to be stripped away from you real soon. I guess these niggas ain't paying attention. But I guess they, gonna, they think they're going to have some type of favoritism shown to them. But guess what? The devil don't play like that. Right? That's why he is the devil. All right? So y'all not going to get no favoritism, you know? Because cause the scripture talk about in the book of Sirach, the 13th chapter, if he if he had needed thee, he will use thee. But if he don't, he going to get rid of your ass. But, you know, just like all these other entertaining celebrities that came and went, man. Red Fox, Charlie Murphy, uh, uh, um, 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 Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence, just using these different Bernie Mac, uh, the, uh, um, you know, just using these different celebrities as an example, man. They came and they went. Everybody had a fifteen minutes of fame. That shit don't never last a lifetime. All right. So that's what I wanted to start off with in this in this lesson, man. We should be mourning to the Heavenly Father. We should be signing crying for the Heavenly Father to come back and deliver us from the hand and, and put these devils under us, man. Right? Right? Because they trying to, the scripture talk about he that seek of love, he that cover for transgressions. So he trying to cover up these transgressions that he committed against us and you niggas is cool with it. 
Well, guess what? The men of the Lord, we ain't cool with these transgressions that these devils and these, these, these atrocities that they committed against me and my people, man. We're not cool with it. See, that's why they got a problem with niggas like us. See, when you're a, a, a quote-unquote free thinker, which you got a lot of niggas that believe they're a free thinker, but really you're a free thinker when you're into the wisdom, understanding, and knowledge of the Heavenly Father. And that's going to be your protection. Granted, good things, bad things, so to speak, happen to good people. I'll say that. I'll just say that for lack of a better term, man. Right? Um, You know, because... I can use our forefather, Apostle Paul, as an example. He said that, man. He was boasting in the fact, because you had the, 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 the Jews of the circumcision, you know, coming up against Paul because he was, you know, bringing in Israelite foreigners into, into the temple, into the fold, man, right? But um, even Paul went through tribulations, and he was a servant of the Lord, you know? He was a true servant of the Heavenly Father. He went through tribulations. So, yeah. Uh, even service of the Lord get robbed and things of that nature, man. Because you know that's that's um that judgment from the Lord, man, for our previous and our our past sins, right? So we all got to be held accountable for our actions, right? Whether in this life or the or the or the previous.